Hey everyone, it's me, Peter at Paradise, and today's video is going to be on my top 10 hamster cages. Now, most of the cages I'll be mentioning are in Europe, so I'm sorry if you live in a country outside Europe, there won't be as much of a choice for you guys, but that's mainly due to the fact that I can't find a good range of suitable cages over there, sadly, and a lot of these are in UK, because these are my favourites. So first up is the Alexander hamster cage, this cage measures 103 by 52.5 by 51 centimetres. From personal experience, I can say this is a wonderful cage. It's very spacious with its large base. It comes with platforms which provide even more space. It's well ventilated because it's a barred cage. It's easy to clean and it's also fairly easy to assemble and disassemble. And for a bonus, it's suited for hamsters and mice. Next up is the Zoo Zone 2. This measures 100 by 51 by 37 centimetres. Now, this is a guinea pig cage, but it's far too small for guinea pigs, and it's more than big enough for hamsters. It provides a clear view with that plastic top, good ventilation with the bars on top. It's also very spacious with its large base, but one thing this cage does require is meshing. The bar spacing on top is a little bit too big, and if you have some large toys in there that they could climb on and reach the top, then you may have a problem with your hamsters being able to escape. So I would suggest meshing with a one centimeter spaced wire mesh to ensure that doesn't happen. Another favorite is Detolves. And these are actually shelves, but when tipped on their side and shelves taken out, they can make incredibly long hamster cages. And these measure 163 by 37 by 43 centimeters. So they're very long and spacious. They provide a clear view with the glass sides, but one thing they do require is a lid so that they can't escape and it must be meshed all round to provide good ventilation. Another favourite of mine has to be the iMac Fantasy. So normally with this cage I would recommend at least two levels, but as the minimum has been raised higher, I would recommend at least three levels or more. This is probably the only cage I'd recommend where you could have levels. I know a lot still disagree with leveled cages and I definitely disagree with other leveled cages because often they're really small, a lot smaller than the base and don't actually fit very much supplies or space for the hamster to roam around. But these levels are the same size as the base. They also fit a fair amount of things on each level and they still provide space for the hamster at the same time. You can also fit an 8 inch wheel in this cage, but if you do have a larger hamster that outgrows that size, then I would definitely suggest buying a bigger cage as it cannot fit a wheel bigger than an 8 inch. And I suppose that's its only downside, so it is fairly spacious, it's fairly easy to clean, it's easy to assemble and disassemble, it provides great ventilation, it being a barred cage. Then there is the hamster heaven. I've actually had this cage in the past and I found it to be a great cage for hamsters. It measures 80 by 50 by 50 centimeters, so it's fairly spacious. It comes with a platform, tubes, and a hut, which can make it a little bit more adventurous for your hamsters. It's well ventilated, it being a barred cage. It's easy to assemble and disassemble, and it's quite easy to clean. Next is the Living World Green Eco Habitat, and this cage comes in three sizes. The small size, which is 78.5 by 58.5 by 55 centimetres. The medium, which is 98.5 by 58.5 by 61 centimetres. And the large size, which is 118.5 by 78.5 by 61 centimetres. All of them provide a clear view with the plastic sides. A lid and ventilation is also provided, so no having to make a lid yourself which is a very useful and time-saving thing. Removable wheels are provided so when it comes to moving the cage it should be very easy and if you just want to have a non-moving cage then you can remove them so that's also very handy. It's fairly easy to assemble as well. It's also actually one of the suitable cages I know of that's available outside Europe but it's great that you guys have a chance of finding a really large cage over there that's suited for hamsters. One thing I suggest doing, because the floor is made of wood, is lining it with a good solid plastic or glass coating, or even some tiles, so that it's protected and the hamster can't chew at the wood. It also won't get ruined if the hamster wheeze on it. Another great favourite of mine has to be 40 gallon long tanks or bigger. 
Noticed I use the word long. It's actually very useful when searching for a tank to use the word long because sometimes people make tanks that aren't very long and the height is more considered than length. You can get some really tall tanks out there so I suggest looking for one where length is more considered. That way you'll have a nice long space for your hamster. The great thing about tanks is that they are very spacious, they do provide a clear view, they're easy to clean, they're also easy to access because of the large open top. One thing you'll need to do though is make a lid and it must be meshed for good ventilation. Another one has to be bin cages of 110 quarts or bigger. These are another common hamster cage and it's no surprise because they are very affordable to buy. They're fairly easy to make and they're easy to clean and they're also expandable because you can add another bin and add tubes to connect that so that's another bonus. When building this cage you will need to provide a large wire mesh grid so that ventilation is provided. There are also many tutorials on YouTube showing you how to build it if you are unsure but honestly it's a very simple process. Last before least is the extra extra large cage villa. This measures 112 by 58 by 56.5 centimeters. So it's a very large and spacious cage. It has platforms and a hut inside, a sliding base, and the base actually slides out almost like a wardrobe. It provides lovely clear view with the clear sides on the front. A lid is provided, which is great, and great access because the whole top opens. So you're gonna get full access to your hamsters from the top. Although, like the Living World cage, I would recommend lining the floor because the wood could easily rot and get wee stained. That's the only downside to having a wooden cage. And last not least, has to be DIY cages. So the best thing about these is you can make them however big you want. You're in charge of the design, so you can be as creative as you want. And I think that's a really lovely thing to have when you know your hamster really well and you know their personality, their characteristics how active they are, or if they're lazy. You can make the cage to fit their needs. Yeah, your needs. As I was saying, it's gonna fit them perfectly because you're in control of how the cage is made, not the company. So that's it for my 10 top hamster cages. Please keep in mind, these are just some of my favorites. There are many, many more great cages out there but I couldn't fit any more in this video, otherwise it would be very long. But I will recommend to you some sites for great cages, which are cageswell.co.uk, Zooplus, Viavet, Amazon, and eBay. I will link all of these in the description, along with the following cages I mentioned. So that's the video. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful for anyone currently looking for cages. Any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you'd like to see more, then go subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, then don't forget to hit that like button. And we'll see you next time. Bye.